Hi, this is Alisha Mao, and in this video, I'm going to introduce the new Red Cat Racing 2.4 GHz DSM 2C radio. And I'm also going to show you how to use this radio, how to install the receiver, and how to bind the receiver to this new radio. When you take the radio out of your box, you will have it wrapped in bubble paper. This is DSM-2C 2.4G Red Cat Racing's new radio in my hands. It's an awesome radio, very good looking and very very easy to use. When you get the Red Cat Racing RC vehicle with this radio, actually you do not have to bind the receiver to the radio. It's already done for you. All you need to do is add the batteries to the radio and if you have a nitro car, start the engine, break it in and have fun. If you have an electric car, just add the batteries, connect the batteries and start bashing. Okay, let's look at the radio from up close and all the stuff that actually comes with it. This is a DSM-2C 2.4G radio, the newest radio from Red Cat Racing. Uh, the antenna will be in this position when you receive the radio. Before operating your vehicle, please uh, put the antenna in a straight position. Um, before I show you the controls and everything else, let's see what is here. This is the 3 channel 2.4G receiver, which is very easy to understand and very easy to use. Plus, it's a piece of cake to bind this receiver to the radio. As mentioned before, you don't have to bind the radio to the receiver when you receive your RC vehicle. It's already done for you. This is your bind cable. Just in case, if you want to use other RC vehicles with the same radio, all you need to do is buy a new 2.4G pre-channel receiver from Red Cat Racing. After you buy this, you can use the bind cable to bind this receiver to your radio after which the same radio you can use two or three different cars alright getting to the controls and before that let me add eight ASI batteries alright now that we have added the batteries let's get to the controls of this radio this is a very sleek very beautifully designed very easy to use two channel DSM2C radio and I have personally tested it up to 300 meters range. It's awesome. I'm simply loving it. I've got two of these here in my hands. All right, starting with the simple things first. This is your steering control. Right and left turns. Right and left. Under the steering control, you have throttle control. Pull, accelerate, push, brake. That's pretty simple. Coming to the advanced control compartments and if you're wondering where do you turn the radio on here we are we have got three knobs and three switches plus we also have a bind button right there in the middle of two lights this is your power on off switch so let's turn the power on Ta -da! those are some bright lights left is your power light that is indicating you have power on and right side you have the green LED which actually shows whether the batteries are full or batteries are running low so if it is green you have full batteries if it is not you have weaker batteries you should replace them alright let me turn it off because it's too bright on top of the battery indicator LED you have throttle reverse switch this means if you pull the throttle and you get brake and you push the throttle and your car takes off you need to reverse your throttle in that case simply flip it to the other side and it will fix the problem at the moment I will leave it where it was similarly at the left on top of the power LED you will see steering reverse switch well I don't have to describe I think you already know what it does for example, turning right, your car turns left, and turning left, your car turns right, you know what to do. Simply find the steering reverse switch and 
reverse or put it on the normal side. This will solve the problem. Coming down to these three knobs. At the left, the first one is your steering trim. You can use to fine tune or fine adjust your steering left and right. The next one in the middle is the throttle trim. You can adjust or fine tune your throttle using this knob. This means if you have a nitro car, you can increase the idle or decrease the idle using this one. If you have an electric car, you can set it so that you have your car staying still. Or you can move it up and make your car move slowly without pressing on the throttle. At the right side, this one is your steering dual rates. Dual rates are used to increase or decrease the servo travel. Or, in other words, I can say that dual rates are used to actually select between two different sensitivities of your servo movement. This means using steering dual rates you can actually choose between two different steering sensitivities that is soft steering and very quick steering for tight cornering. All right. This was pretty much it. It's a very easy to use radio. Uh, these controls are very, very easy to understand. The next thing I would like to show you is how to bind your 2.4G 3-channel receiver to your 2-channel radio.